What would you say, Brad, that you might have learned about yourself and, you know, and our world as you were exploring themes of grief and despair and loss through your stories? Was there maybe anything you were surprised about? I don't know a simple answer for that. Um, I know I dug into some parts of me that that I, I'm not always comfortable digging into, um, sure. especially with the the next couple books that I have coming out next year. Um, I, I really, I think those writing those books. Um, I was probably writing both of those books about the same time that I was writing most of the stories that are in this collection. And it just, because, you know, they were all written over a period of several years. Um, but it was kind of like the COVID years, you know, and we we're all isolated and had a lot Speaking of time of to think about <laughs> all the terrible things. I think, I don't know if I learned a lot new by writing the stories. I think I discovered things about myself and then wrote the stories. <laughs> By diving into some of those more traumatic, uh, um, I guess, themes of, of some of your stories, do you think it's it's maybe helped you to maybe shed some things that you are better off not carrying around on? Absolutely. Um, there, it's like therapy, writing is, <laughs> writing is therapy. Even yeah. though it's fiction, even, because even when it's fiction, we may elaborate on the darker side of things. Um, we're still digging into those those parts of ourselves that we can relate to, um, the traumas, the, the things that have happened, and, and we deal with them by writing about them. And there's some truth in in what we write. Um, maybe not all of it, but, <laughs> but <laughs> the parts that are true, we know what parts those are. And, um, and I think it helps. It's like, it is like therapy to just get it on the page and, and to understand a little bit more about why we feel the way we do. I'm so glad that we have that as a medium and it's also a heck of a lot cheaper than, uh, than therapy. <laughs> <laughs> with that in mind, is there anything you would love to leave us with, uh, Brad? Maybe a quote of your own that kind of gets you through some of those darker times when you're maybe immersed in one of your stories and think, Things need to be better. Things are better. Yeah, there's um, there's always there's always light in the darkness, even in the most darkest places. And sometimes, sometimes we have to sit in the dark for a little while, <laughs> but we can't stay there too long. If you stay there too long, it'll just swallow you up, and uh, it becomes harder and harder to get out. So, if there is a light, try to try to look at it every once in a while, <laughs> try to go into the light, try to break out of the darkness if you can. Um, if someone's extending a hand, take it if you need it. Like I said, sometimes we have to sit there for a little while, but you can only sit there so long before it really takes its toll. So, so always look for the light.